Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple scarf window treatment. Uh, we're going to hang it over the uh, curtain rod that we've got here and um, we're just going to use a piece of fabric at 54 inches wide, any width of fabric within reason, so if it's 48 inches wide, 60 inches wide, should be fine. Um, and the length of the fabric is all determined by how wide your window is, from here to here, and how far down on each side you want the fabric to come. In uh, this example, we're going to have offset. So we're going to have the right hand side about 20 inches deep, and then the left hand side about 40 inches deep, just to create a bit of interest. Right, we have um, two ways of making this um, scarf window treatment today. Um, the way we're making it today is a, a no sew way. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn over the fabric one inch on all four sides of the uh, scarf and press down with a hot steam iron. Just like so. Then we're going to repeat this by turning over one inch again. This is only approximately, it's a little more, a little less, won't make uh, a lot of difference. Then we've got two choices. Uh, you can sew it by machine, you can hand sew the hems down on the uh, four sides, or you can do as we're going to do here today, which is use fusible hemming tape. Now, we're just going to put this underneath the seam that we've just pressed down. Now this is the kind of stuff that you use for hemming trousers, skirts, any kind of alterations really, and it'll do the job nicely for what we're looking for today. Okay, the next step is to put folds into the fabric um, that we've just hemmed, um, and that'll create the pleats on our scarf. So, we're just going to fold it over probably about four or five inches and we're going to keep repeating this across the scarf. I'm starting at one end. Okay, now we have um, all the pleats like so into the end of our scarf swag and this end folds back this way and this end folds back in the same direction. Now we're just going to feed the pleats in all the way down the swag, teasing them into place until we've got right to the far end um, and then we're going to hang the swag over our rod. So that's what we're going to have a look at now. Okay, so now um, we've got our pleated swag and what we need to do is just hook it over one end of the rod just very quickly very simply having a nice big drape in the middle and then hang it over the other side now what we're doing is we're just checking that the dust very roughly at the same height that's assuming that you want both the sides to end up at the same height down the sides of the window so that's the uh, the next step. Uh, next step uh, after this now is to dress the swag into shape. So we'll have a quick look at that. Okay, uh, now we're going to dress the swag into shape. Now what we want is we want these top couple of pleats to move upwards but while the bottom pleats sort of stay roughly where they are now to give us some shape. So what we're going to do is we're just going to just tease slightly the pleat upwards here then move across to this side and repeat the same process sometimes you may have to hold the bottom pleats down to keep them from moving and just gently but bit by bit and you can see the pleat sort of separating so that's the effect we're aiming for and eventually you can hide the entire top of the rod with the top pleat and it's just a matter of just teasing it now a little bit by little bit to get it to the shape that you look at. Now 
that's quite nice so the next step after that now is to um, have a look at the sides and get those dressed into a nice shape so we'll do that now okay as you can see the uh, the sides what I call the tails on the uh, scarf swag are uh, now just a bit out of shape so we just need to get them back into shape and the way we're doing it is we're just going to twist them around a bit so we can just start a little bit but just trying to turn them back forward and I'm also just going to try and get the pleats back in a little better um, and what you find is that when you're dressing the sides here it's going to disturb the top a little bit so just be careful that you don't pull the main swag completely out of shape and like so and that's not too bad um, and then we're going to repeat that on the other side and another little tip is once you get everything as you want it if you're using a wooden rod then you can just push some thumbtacks into the top into the rod through the fabric and that'll sort of lock everything in place so it doesn't move um, this is especially good afterwards if you don't want say uh, a, a draft blowing through a window or a door to um, catch the fabric and move it out of shape so um, that's it really um, uh, there we have our uh, completed swag um, with the uh, the swag dressed and the tails into shape so that's how to hang a scarf swag I hope that helped to find lots more useful info and videos on making hanging dressing curtains uh, visit my website easycurtainideas.com you'll find the link just below this video and again thanks for watching